What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Spy Family. Today we're doing episode 20. This one is called Investigate the General Hospital slash Decipher the Perplexing Code. Uh, I'm very excited for more shenanigans, more hilariosity, more phase two of Operation Strix, all that. Getting to know Damien, Donovan, all that jazz. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section like always. And don't forget, if you guys want the full uncut, unedited versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Don't forget to check out the other social medias and all that jazz. Let's hop right on into it. Spy Family, episode 20. Let's do it. Okay. Mission 20. Investigate the General Hospital. And we know Lloyd works at a hospital. Or at least he says he does. Look at cute Mr. Bondo. Yeah, you want to watch her uh, kill some people? Yeah. <laughs> Look at little Anya in the same outfit. Look at Anya. Can you keep up? But I must never, ever kill the wrong person. True. I love the way this is animated, how it's black and white, except for the red is red and, like, the redness in the sky is there, you know? Ooh! That's like some Demon Slayer shit when, when he whore gets into that mood. He's dodging bullets, owning your body and the techniques and the study of the human anatomy. The way that is that is so cool. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, so maybe we shouldn't take Ani to work. At least for your to the tomato festival. Look at Anya's face. <laughs> yeah. If I read yours mine and heard all that too, I would think the same thing. Because she's Sherlock Holmes. Investigation fashion. Come on. If she's Sherlock, what was his name? What was his sidekick's name, Sherlock Holmes? It was a dude was a doctor, right? How am I blanking? It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Yeah, if I heard of somebody's daughter do that, like I'd be like, so kawaii. Oppa's workplace is paradise. <laughs> such nice co-workers. Fake co-workers, but to say such nice things, you know. You would always hope if you took a family member to your job that your co-workers would say these things about you, you know. That's the thing about being so well adapted and charming as Lloyd is genuinely i feel like if he wasn't a spy he could have any job and excel in it amazingly he could be a doctor policeman and uh, detective i don't think of pretty much anything he could be uh, he could literally be anything and excel he's just that much he's just that talented and charming in, in real life you know completely embody how i want people to view this individual exactly he's so good at that i need to not stand out but still stand out in a way that you're not standing out you know like you need to be sociable it's a good answer. Uh. <laughs> she can. Like, look at that. This is genuinely good co workers. Imagine I'd be like, let's hone your skills so you can open your own clinic. That'd be dope, you know? Yeah, understandable. Have you guys seen me itching my eyes at all? My allergies have been going crazy. Huh. Well, now she knows about the secret passage and the secret entryway. No. Oh, 
この箱庭の中に人形や小物を好きなように配置していくんだ。I was thinking it was gonna be one of those like Zen gardens, you know, where it's like a sand garden and you like do the rake and make it look all pretty and even. I w o n t always want one of those. And she's immediately going to the secret passage with the lever. Look at that face. There's not a chance. Like, don't get me wrong. Curiosity killed the cat. I, if I was Anya's age, might be doing the same thing. But now that I'm an adult, Anya, what are you doing? Yeah, but. Yeah, that is not good at all. You want to talk about ghosts and people? <laughs> yeah. Now you guys get to experience a ghost firsthand. If there was no room above you and you're like on the top floor, I would. Oh, wow, that's scary. <laughs> Let us continue the meeting. <laughs> Anya's is doing some genuine good on her accidental work. That's hilarious. I forgot what I was even gonna say now. It's probably all scribbles. Yep. Knowing Anya, a hundred percent. Yes, he did. Wasn't that when they got married and when he proposed? Like, he was, he was like, What are you doing? He's like, These are my patients. It's easier if I knock them out. <laughs> An elegant Conve conveyed your feelings well. Good job. Anya Forja next is a specialist in mental health. Good save. Piece of cake. <laughs> I love Hen how Hen much Henry likes Lloyd. A sisiju, a si connections. He golfs at his workplace and creates shady channels. Okay, maybe Lloyd should have helped you word your paper a little bit because. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. With his superb eloquence. That's hilarious. Decipher the perplexing code. I mean, there are a number of legit code crackers out in the world, too. You know, like, deciphering is a real thing. It takes some very good talent and skill. <laughs> I know. You'll be considered a genius if you can even read her handwriting. I can't blame her though. Mine was horrible. Oh, Damn. How nice. It looks like she was using a ruler. That was well done. Gotta give it to your messenger carrier, Borf. <laughs> right? That's not. I remember legitimately being confused on how mail worked when I was a kid. That was so funny. I always like Frankie's little one earring. A little hoop. Oh, secret code. It's top secret. <laughs> Like this kid is weird. She's just giving the note, the the code out to everyone. See who can who can decipher it. Who's worthy? It's top secret. So it's similar to the one in the show. Show up at the bridge at eight tomorrow. <laughs> Look at this. Look how she's standing with her hands in her pockets. Frankie's like, oh, I forgot I had this in my pocket. What is this? Let's check this out. It's your, technically. 
Okay. Now Frankie's an idiot. Of all the scenarios that could happen, Frankie, you think this is the one? Oh my god, and he showed up with flowers. And Anya is just... How do you sleep through that alarm? There are some alarms you can sleep through. That one is loud as all shit. Now you're just going to leave Frankie Hank. That was the end of the episode? Oh, I feel bad for my man Frankie. God damn. Talk about a hilarious episode. Anya just doing typical Anya stuff. Ah, the whole ghost and we actually believe in ghosts. So we should take them seriously. Now it's just a little, such a hilarious little cherry on top. But uh, I feel so bad for Frankie. Just straight hilariosity. I wonder, even though, like, obviously, I know there's an overarching story about Damien, Donovan, and all that. I wonder how long it's going to take. Because Operation Strix, or at least Phase 1, was get the Stella so we can become an Imperial Scholar and we'll meet him that way. We only have one of the eight. So I don't think we're going to have any sort of exponential quickness in getting Stella. I know the second phase is going to the social gathering like becoming friends with damien enough to where we can get invited to the social gathering donovan would uh attend but that's not really working out too well either like damien has a crush on us but it's like it's gonna take a lot you know so i'm like i'm curious where that's gonna go our main story but in terms of just the side anthological little uh, side quests these are hilarious i'm loving every bit of them cracking me up hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe Click that bell, all that jazz. I'm gonna drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.